Yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here with Redstone Wars 6. It was 6, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 6. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the worst memory, man. It's like we just talked about this, and then I hit record, and it's like, a boo. <laughs> um, the, uh, the handsome, smooth-talking Australian dude that you hear is none other than Static. What's going on, hey. guys? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I can't complain. A little bit early, and I'm not a morning person, so I'm kind of tired, but... Good other than that. Yeah, I, I see. Making excuses already. Of course, of course, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have a head cold. And... <laughs> and I broke my clicking finger. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so for everybody who doesn't know what Redstone Wars is, it is a one-hour man-to-man, head-to-head theme design competition uh, where the themes are suggested by our viewers. And uh, and then we have someone really cool pick them, and then we design. Uh, this time we had none other than FV Disco pick the theme, and uh, you know I thought FV Disco was a was a good guy until he picked the theme. <laughs> and now I'm not so sure because uh, the theme is self building structures, yeah. which I'm I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I've been dreading this one for a while, man. Um, and, and just, you know, full disclosure, we've kind of talked about this on Twitter. Um, we did run through this once before. Uh, we had technical difficulties and nothing on my side recorded, but <laughs> it's okay. We're going to round two. There's no, nothing uh, nothing I like better than a second chance, right? Oh, yeah, especially <laughs> with this theme. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, the way it works, guys, is it's two episodes, 30 minutes apiece, um, and the second one will be the finale, and you will like the video that of the contraption you like the most. I think that's it. Yep, Any that's... questions, man? No, I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah, right. So uh, I'm – oh, oh, shoot. All right, I am pausing really quick because I got to go grab my, my phone so I can get the timer. Because <laughs> I'm a dummy. All right, one second. All right, be right back. Okay, so I'm going to hit the thing. We have 30 minutes in the first round. And three, two, one, go. Good luck, sucker. Good luck, Matt. All right, guys. So uh, as you can see, I've designated myself a little bit of a build area here. And uh, I've done the same thing underground, just cleared out a little bit of area. Uh, I would have used MC Edit. But, um, yeah, there's no stable build of that at the moment, so I've just used TNT. This is where I'm going to be building most of my redstone stuff. Now, my basic idea for today's challenge is, because we're building uh, self-building structures, generally it's going to be one cobble cobblestone block to another, so I wanted to go for something a little bit different. So I've seen people build uh, cobblestone houses. I was thinking I'd build a cobblestone village, but, I mean, again, that's just a whole bunch of houses. So instead, what I thought I'd do is um, I'll build the village myself, and I'm going to be pimping out the village with a couple of self-building contraptions. So the first thing I'm going to do here um, is I want to get a redstone, a self-building redstone clock going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the thing here. So very simple. And... Um, that clock's going to be pushing cobblestone blocks in it. I was going to say circle, but it's <laughs> no circles in Minecraft. Um, so it's going to be pushing blocks like that. Oops. Uh, and then I want to leave three blocks of space. And then this is where I'm going to have my cobblestone generator and so on and so forth. So I'll just get that going really quickly. Um, what do I need? Uh, I need one more block on this side, I think, if I remember that correctly. Okay. Now, I believe... Every every time I do these, I do them wrong, so hopefully I get it right this time. So, we'll just put an ice... No, we won't. We'll put a dirt block there for now, just to designate that's where we want the cobblestone. And so I'm pretty sure the water's going to go there... And that'll flow down like so. We need some glass. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, so I'm just going to build a little bit of a case for the glass to... Uh, sorry, for the water to flow down. Um, so yeah, just like this is fine. Just to keep the water out of the way, basically. 
Okay, so just like that. And on this side, because the cobblestone's going to be coming down here, um, I can't put glass there, otherwise that's going to screw everything up, so I'll put a cobblestone block there instead. Okay, so let's replace that with water and see if that works. Now, sorry if I rush through some things, guys, and don't explain what I'm doing or anything like that. Um, oops, I don't have a whole lot of time, so... Um, yeah, I think that should work. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so if, if you see anything in this that you'd like a tutorial on or uh, want me to go into greater detail uh, later on, just let me know in the comments section, and I'm quite happy to do that. Just for the purposes of this challenge, I really have to speed through this. Um, actually, I want this to turn off at some point, so I'm going to build an RS null latch over here. Uh, how are we going to... Yeah, we'll do this like that. Hmm. I think that'll work. And if not, we'll make it work. Okay. So redstone like this, and I'm going to need to clear out a little bit of extra space there. Redstone like that, and that should that should work, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so um, for now, where'd my button go? For now, I want this deactive, so we'll do that, and I'll put another button here just for later on when I need to test that. Okay. Now, we're going to need a little bit of delay, so I'll just chuck that repeater down there. And what we want, I need a glass block. Okay, actually I should have got rid of the lava because I don't need that anymore. And we're going to chuck a sticky piston on the block like so. The reason being is that if we use a cobblestone block or just the, repeat, uh, just the, the sticky piston, the thing's going to get jammed, so we need that glass block there. I uh, hope that made sense, but uh, <laughs> if not, I do apologise. Okay, and I believe that should work. Let's just switch that on and make sure. Yep, perfect. Alright, that's exactly what we wanted. So I can switch that off now. And that's the, uh, the beginnings of our cobblestone self-building clock. Um... Now I do want to, I want to make an ice fountain in the middle of what's going to be our village, so, um, but I want that to be inside the cobblestone clocks, so I want to get building that nice and quickly. Uh, so the square here is 25 by 25, so I just want to find essentially the middle, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. So the middle of that would be 12 on either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is our midline. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, just because I'm pedantic. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then that's the midline. Yeah, just I need to have this uh, fountain centered just for my own sanity. And, oh, what's that? Ah, remnants from testing. So we'll just uh, cover that back up for now. Get rid of some of this excess stone. Now, as well as the uh, ice fountain and self-building clock, I'd like to try and get a self-building bridge over that uh, river there. So, But we'll see how much we get done. Okay. So, what do we want? I know that the fountain that I've designed is going to be not quite centered, it's going to be a slightly odd shape, uh, simply because that's the only way I could fit the um, ice generators in. That will do something like this. OK, 
Okay, and to give the illu illusion that the fountain's building itself, like the whole uh, stone brick part of it as well, um, I'm going to have the stone bricks uh, in, start off in, uh, submerged in the ground, and when we hit the button or whatever to start our build, those are going to pop up out of the ground. So um, I want to get this bottom section here cleared out. Just like so, and oops, gonna need sticky pistons, like so. Oh, I tell you, I've been dreading this theme for so long now. It's <laughs> out of all the themes suggested, this is the one that I really did not want to get picked, simply because it is the hardest, I believe. And I think generic B felt the same way and. Uh, as he mentioned, we have tried this before, and so I have a basic idea of, first of all, of what I'm doing, and also of how quickly time can catch up on you. So, that's why, as I've mentioned, I'm speeding through this. I should have set my Skype to Do Not Disturb, but it's okay. Uh, oops. Uh, go away, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I might have to close that in a moment if they don't stop saying things. <laughs> Alright. And the cool thing is, once um, I get this all set up... Uh, actually, I should have probably left some blocks there. Um, once I get this all set up... Um, the snow, I can get snow to cover the, the uh, stone bricks, and that will hide them very nicely. Okay, so I'm going to activate these middle pistons using these blocks here, just like so. And for the pistons on the outside, I'm just going to make a cobblestone, uh, sorry, stone brick ring around the fountain, just like so. And these will be um, turned on and off using an RS NOR latch as well. And uh, just like that. Okay. So the power is going to come in through here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just enough. Okay, just get that all in. Perfect. And we'll put torch here like that. Why are they not powering? Um. <laughs> oh, that's a pain. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember. I remember. This is how we want to do it. Perfect. So just like that. And then these can be powered like so. Okay. And so when we send a current through these blocks here, um, they will I'll turn off the torches and retract the pistons. What am I getting stuck on? <laughs> okay. Now that we've got that, I need a little bit of gravel if I can find it. At least in this first half, uh, half of the thing, I want to try and get um, my... Uh, fountain and redstone clock built. So I need to kind of hurry. Um, put blocks like that and like that. And the ice will come up here, I believe. Just like so. Yep, that's.
that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to use... Um, actually, that's where the uh, sunlight needs to come down. Um, I'm going to use ice just to uh, signify water at the moment so it doesn't mess with anything. And what we want to do is we want to make ourselves some bud switches, which are going to detect when this soon-to-be water turns into ice. Oops. So we need that there, like so, and like that. And I believe, yep, perfect. Okay, so do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> oh, nerves. Just so nervous. It's, it's, uh, in these challenges, the time really can creep up on you. So, just need to make sure that doesn't happen. And just got to pray that I'm making this right. Uh, I keep expecting generic to <laughs> chime in and say i got four minutes or so left which would suck because I haven't got nearly as much done yet as I'd like to have. But, them's the brakes. Oop, that needs to be a torch. And... another bud switch. Okay. Um, so now, obviously, we're going to need a case around our water. That's going to activate the bud switch, of course. Just so the water doesn't flow everywhere. And now, what I want is I want a sticky piston here and here. And so, what this is going to do is this is going to pull the ice out of the way and send it up. So just make sure I've done that in the right spot. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, and so we also need down here pistons. Just normal pistons. And so we want, when um, this bud switch gets activated, we want that to activate those sticky pistons and pull back the glass block. So I believe we can do that just like so. Now let's just give that a test. Um, yep. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So we'll do the same thing on this other side here. Now, funny thing is, I actually made this um, ice generator on accident <laughs> while I was testing. And I thought, hey, that's cool. I'll um, try and put that into the design somewhere. So, quite a cool little contraption, I think. It's uh, one, of the, one of my more favourite things that I've come up with in Minecraft. So, we'll just do that. And... What we want to do now... Um, this one... It's okay. Just set them all into the position that we want. Okay, and uh, now what we want to do is we need some water. And we're going to create infinite springs by putting a source block there, source block there, and source block there. And same thing on the other side. And so what will happen is when these blocks here freeze, the ice gets moved up and then the water replaces itself. So that's what we've got there. That's very cool. I like that. Um, we want to we wanna have this so that uh, when it's retracted like it is now, it's level with the ground. Um, that way we can get some snow cover over the top and make it hidden, give it the illusion that it's creating itself. Okay. Hmm. I've made this, uh, <laughs> made the generator in the wrong spot, actually. Uh, but that's okay. Does not matter. 
Is that 13 blocks already? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now that should still push. Why are you not push? Let's try if we... Okay, so that is... Th oh, yeah, because of that block there. So, um, looks like that is going to matter. We're going to have to move this cobblestone generator. Not too much of a problem. I can do that relatively quickly. But it's definitely time I didn't want to have to be wasting here. Especially because generic B will be telling me any moment that I've run out of time. So, I'll leave most of this platform here. Oops. And I want there. And that should give me the space I need. Fingers crossed. Um, we'll just double check that. Um, so if one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, it needs to be down this way. One more. Uh, so I need. I'll just put stone bricks there. That's okay. Uh, all right. So this is where our smart piston's going to go. Just like so, and then like I said, we've got our cobblest cobblestone ring there, and then we want one, two, three blocks of space, and then our platform. And now we've got plenty of space on this platform, which is always nice. Saves me having to build more if I need it. Okay, and so that's where we want our cobblestone, so we need to go out one more block this side. like that, and then on this side as well, for our water, okay, and the water's going to come down uh, like so, sorry, I'm talking to myself like a madman here, but that's what these challenges do to you, <laughs> if you don't believe me, give it a shot, try and record something like this, and you will see what I mean. Okay, so I'll put cobblestone like that. Yep, that's what we want. We need lava and water. It's okay, I'm getting a lot of stuff done. I only wanted to get the uh, cobblestone clock and the... Uh, we need water there. And the um, ice fountain going today. Oh, sorry, not today. Uh, in this first half an hour. Um, that's right, we needed uh, an RS Norlatch there. Oh, it's not the side I wanted to set, but that's okay. We need our buttons. Like so. And again, redstone out here. A delay and we need glass as you can hear that ice fountains going in the background it's going to be um, an interesting part of the build it'll go slowly so I'll probably when I show um, my build finished I'll do that in like a time lapse or something like that but it should be pretty cool I think okay and so as always we'll just give that one a quick test perfect I'll just let that run. Ah, oh, no, we won't. That'll take too long. And um, that's time we don't have. So instead, I'll just speed up the process a little bit. And it's perfect. So we want to put another smart piston here. And again. Ah, of course. Got to put a block there. Okay, perfect, exactly what I wanted. Gotta love it when things work out the way you plan them. As, as that saying goes, best laid plans of mice and men. And so if we put one more here, and just get rid of that block just for testing purposes. 
one more smart piston. And so what will happen is when the uh, cobblestone gets ge oops, it's generated far enough to that point there, why did that not set? Oh, of course, of course, because I didn't knock out the corners. Just give this one a quick, quick test. Make sure it's working the way we expect it to. Yep, so there we go. So the pistons will push the cobblestone around in a circle like that. And assuming nothing goes wrong like it did in our first... Uh, there we go, we got current out of the side there. And so that little bit of current there is going to be what powers our self-building bridge once we get around to making that. So for now, I just want to clear out all this stone. And we'll just let that um, ice generator chug along in the background, just uh, just to see what the fountain's going to look like once it's finished. Okay, and so what we want to do, um, if the cobblestone generator just kept on going once the clock finished, um, it would end up actually jamming the clock, um, freezing it up, and also breaking our smart pistons. So what we want to do is we actually want um, the piston, uh, the we want the clock to turn off this uh, cobblestone generator once the uh, once the clock is complete. So what we want to do is so that's one torch so that'll be on. And that would be off. So let's just uh, flick that on for now. And mm, I'll just break that piston for now because I want that cobblestone clock to stop. Just want to test, make sure our. Um, actually, I think I need to put a little bit of delay on that. Uh, just want to test to make sure our off mechanism works. So we'll just feed a little bit in here. Oh, yeah, that's one problem with this clock is you need to feed it kind of slowly, otherwise. Good day, contestants. You have five minutes remaining. <laughs> that is just a horrible accent, Matt. <laughs> well, that's perfect. That's spot on. What are you talking about? <laughs> you should hear me do uh, Armitage. I'm like, good day, fellow miners. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, that's actually okay. not bad. <laughs> yeah? I yeah. try. Okay, four minutes, 30 seconds. All right, no worries, Matt. All right, so we're actually making pretty good progress here. So we've got our... Cobblestone generator turned on. So once we just get our piston in here. Uh, okay, so that'll start the clock. And it turned it off, but I don't think it turned it off in time. No, it turned it off too early. Huh. Let's just try that one again. So I'll give it a little bit of space here just to do its thing. Okay, turns off. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So you'll see that that's uh, the signal from this block here has turned off our redstone uh, our RS null latch, which turns off the cobblestone generator, and I don't need that glass block there, which allows the uh, the clock to do its thing. Now the problem with this clock, which I ran into when we were doing our test, is that unfortunately not all of these blocks will draw power for some reason, I don't know why, and which blocks you can draw power from and where uh, changes depending on the orientation of the clock and so on and so forth. So, But as you can see, most, block, uh, most areas I can draw power from. This back here is where I'll be uh, drawing the power from in the finished design. So I'll get rid of most of these repeaters here. Just like so. That one can stay. <laughs> we kind of need that one. And I'll clear out some of this stone just to give us a little bit more room to work with. You know, I'm actually quite pleased with the, the progress we've made so far. I think in the next uh, episode, I'm going to be working on our self-building bridge and hooking up the uh, 
the ice fountain here to, as you see, it takes quite a while to do its thing. Uh, but yeah, I'll be hooking up the ice fountain here to our little on switch, as well as building our town. So, um, might as well see what I can get done on this RS Norlatch here that we're going to have for the fountain pistons. Of course, any moment now, generic B is going to tell me redstone down. So, like I said, just get as much done as I can. The more I get done this episode, the less I have to do next one. So, okay, and we'll get a couple of buttons again just for testing. And so, what we want at the moment, uh, redstone clock is off. So, we want. We want it so that when that redstone clock turns on, the fountain here turns on. So, that means we want this side of the latch powered. And just so we don't get any cross chatter or back feed, I should say. We'll chuck down a repeater there. And connect up this redstone. So what should happen is when we power this side of the latch to turn on the cobblestone generator, that'll also, if I uh, hook it up, that'll also power these pistons. Why did the middle ones not power? Ah, of course, because I've gone and broken out the uh, blocks I needed. Just a little bit of an aesthetic sort of thing. So, fountain pops up, and when the cobblestone generator turns itself off, oh, that lag is annoying. The fountain still stays on thanks to this nor latch. So, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So, again, just going to clear out some of this cobblestone, give myself a little bit of room to work. Three. Two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, Redstone down. Buddy. Redstone is down. And you might still have your mic muted. That I do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, he's either so inten intensely focused or his mic's muted. Uh, could be a bit of both. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Uh, okay, so that is the end of round one. Uh, feeling pretty good. I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm rolling, man. Oh, I don't. I don't like hearing that. <laughs> I like yeah. it when I hear uh, I'm struggling a bit. Yeah, <laughs> a train oh. wreck on my side, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what, uh, everything blew up. A creeper came <laughs> by. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, okay, so everybody, we're gonna take a few minutes break and continue on and uh, record the finale. Uh, for you guys, it'll be up in a couple days after the, this first round. Uh, be sure, though, check out both of our channels. So Static is YouTube.com slash 777-STATIC777. And mine is YouTube.com slash GenericB. Be sure to Yeah. Be sure to subscribe to us both. Uh, because in the finale, the winner is determined by the number of likes on their video. And so you're going to have to watch us both. Uh, yeah, I think I feel good about this one. Yeah, I think you it's, and me both. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be a good challenge for sure. Okay, so that's it for us for right now. Until next time, take care, brush your hair. See you when I see you. Peace. Later, guys.